Ever wondered why something designed to connect us can sometimes make us feel more isolated? This is the paradox of social media, a tool crafted with the intention of bringing us closer, yet often leaves us feeling alone, disconnected. It's like being surrounded by voices, yet hearing nothing but silence. And the repercussions? They seep into our mental health, creating ripples that can turn into waves. We're going to delve into this digital conundrum, the impact of social media on our minds. Dive in with us as we explore the darker side of our online lives. Behind the screens, statistics paint a stark picture. A recent report revealed that roughly three out of every five people are on social media with most users spending an average of two hours daily navigating various platforms. That's a lot of time spent scrolling, liking, and commenting. But this isn't just about time. It's about the impact on our mental health. A staggering 50% of people have reported feeling anxious or depressed after using social media. And it's no surprise. The constant bombardment of perfect images, coupled with the pressure to always be on, can lead to feelings of inadequacy and even social isolation. Furthermore, there's a growing concern about social media addiction. With one in five users admitting they lose sleep because of social media, and a third stating it negatively affects their relationships, it's clear that the effects extend far beyond our screens. So it seems our digital habits could be taking a toll on our mental health. But it's not just about the time we spend scrolling, it's about the invisible weight we carry, the pressure to present a perfect curated life. Each post, each like, each comment becoming a reflection of our worth. This never-ending quest for perfection can lead us down a path of self-doubt and low self-esteem. Now let's talk about cyberbullying. It's an insidious beast lurking in the shadows of our online interactions. It amplifies the echo chamber of negativity, making the virtual world a battleground for young minds. This can exacerbate mental health issues, creating a cycle of anxiety and depression. The pressure to be perfect and the fear of falling short can be crushing. Yet it's not all doom and gloom. While we've explored the dark side of social media, it's crucial to remember that these platforms can be tools for connection, creativity and learning if used mindfully. The issues of addiction, cyberbullying, and the pressure to curate a perfect life are significant, but they are not insurmountable. We all have the power to change our relationship with social media. The key is to be aware of these potential pitfalls and to approach our online interactions with mindfulness and empathy. The conversation about social media's impact on mental health is only just beginning. More research, more dialogue, and more understanding are needed. Remember, it's not about quitting social media, it's about using it in a way that adds to our lives, not detracts.